Several hundred tons of plastic. That's how much plastic is produced every day in Ghana's capital Accra alone. But less than 2% of the plastic waste is collected and recycled. One reason is that waste disposal in Ghana is privately run, and only a small number of wealthy people can afford to have their waste collected. Everyone else has to dispose of their waste on the streets or in bodies of water. Plastics that ends up in the not collected ends up in our drains and it becomes a social and ecological problem. Number one, the city gets flats, flooded, and two, it washes the plastics into the ocean. Those who work as plastic collectors in the waste sector often suffer due to informal and poor employment conditions. As the most vulnerable link in the recycling chain, they are under price pressure from the buyers who often exploit them. Waste disposal offers great potential for creating jobs and generating income, but there's a lack of trained staff, structures, and investment. This is the focus of Invest for Jobs, the special initiative on training and job creation of the German Federal Ministry for Economic Cooperation and Development, BMZ. Together with the DEVELOP funding program, Invest for Jobs supported a partnership between the Deutsche Gesellschaft für Internationale Zusammenarbeit, GIZ, and private companies to improve working conditions in Ghana's waste sector. In a first step, the local waste disposal company Tidy Up Ghana, together with the Bremen-based partner Rodiek & Company, transformed a disused waste transfer station into a recycling collection point. The second step involved training 45 waste collectors, 90% of whom are women. Training topics included health protection and identifying plastics. Die Schulungen richteten sich an Waste Pickers, also sozusagen kleinen Unternehmer im Bereich Sammlung und Behandlung von Kunststoffabfällen, insbesondere PET und LDPE-Folien. Und in den Schulungen wurde ihnen beigebracht, zum Beispiel das Material nicht in der Sonne liegen zu lassen, möglichst effiziente Transportoptimierung, damit nach Abzug der Transportkosten noch möglichst viel vom Erlös übrig bleibt. After their training, the waste pickers collect plastic waste on the streets of Accra, particularly in the early hours of the morning when it's still cool, and take it to Tidy Up, where it's weighed, sorted, pressed, and subsequently sold. Tidy Up is a reliable port of call for them, with planning security for their income. Die trainierten SammlerInnen ähm, wurden registriert über eine digitale ähm, Plattform und auf diese Weise kann das Material über die gesamte Wertschöpfungskette ähm, zurückverfolgt werden und so kann auch die Bezahlung ähm, fairer Löhne sichergestellt werden. In the four months of the project term alone, Tidy Up has already collected four and a half tons of plastic. This is roughly equivalent to 230,000 bottles. 56,000 bottles a month, 1,900 bottles a day. And people's awareness of plastic as an environmental problem and a raw material is growing. If you rob me, you buy some cash in Bau. Mokumani told me I'm a child for Mokum, and it's more than here. If I pick a hammer, get your walk about. This approach is turning an environmental problem into a regular source of income with improved working conditions. It's also boosting the local recycling economy. Der Aufbau von Sammelstrukturen, wie es durch das Projekt erfolgt ist, führt zu verlässlichen Materiallieferungen an die Recycler in gleichbleibender Qualität, auf deren Seite zu mehr Nachfrage und so langfristig zum Aufbau einer funktionierenden Kreislaufwirtschaft. We we'll see a cleaner Accra. It is doable. It is doable. We can do it. 